Hi there guys, what's going on? Good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. 10.30 here in Dhaka. Uh, very, very hot and humid outside. Uh, very hot and humid. The weather is really terrible. Uh, so be uh, careful when you go out, uh, carry water bottle with you and drink plenty of... Stay here, hydrated. That's what I'm trying to say. But today I'll be reviewing uh, uh, three v uh, fragrances. No, two fragrances. One, uh, another episode I'll revisit some of the older perfumes. But my second episode I'm going to do a Carolina Herrera or Herrera. Uh, this one I reviewed previously the men's version of this perfume called 212 Men Heroes Forever Young. Okay, the men version. This one came out before, and I actually was a very big fan of this fragrance. I love the opening of this beautiful, gorgeous fragrance with an amazing bottle. This is a limited time release, as far as I understand, but it's uh, about 80 ml juice, as far as I know. And that's the one thing I didn't like, but I really like the juice color. I really like the way it smells. It's like very uh, tropical, fresh, fruity and uh, aquatic in a way very playful youthful fragrance so today we'll be looking at the female version which came out i think a little bit later one year later or i forgot the date but today we'll be reviewing two on two heroes forever young so you see the pink one or the pink red this rose gold and red color with this uh, black and white font this is for the ladies so be careful you know as a big aware as a consumer when you see these they look pretty similar right but my camera is in a bit different mode but you can pick the difference up if you see silver for men rose gold for women okay first uh, <laughs> a warning or caution so this ones as retail are not cheap these fragrances can cost you up to in bangladesh i saw 120 dollars and that's steep but that's just i'm talking about retail if you can wait a little bit uh, i think discounted this one will be more like 65 dollars for 80 ml still pretty high i would say and this is edp concentration for her and um, what do they say here we refuse to conform or we have uh, uh, there's just like uh, some tagline i'm not gonna read that so bottle basically it's even nicer version of the original uh, they look really great both you know 212 basically is taken from the 212 man 212 vip i think that series but uh, they look totally different as a bottle i find this similar to 1 million bottles from the side but this one has a roller skate a roller skate bottle i'm uh, sorry the wheels i guess they don't work so this one is pink and rose gold look at the juice color very beautiful very beautiful you can see through this from the front this is like gunmetal plate atomizer is here built in do not try to take off the cap and this one also the wheels don't move but look really nice okay presentations are everything this one presentation is just stunning and you'll find like one million uh, by paco raban you'll also find like a, a metal plate at the base for some information sprayer i'm wearing this for some time okay sprayer it's okay but i don't like this bit tricky okay sometimes you cannot press in the right place like one million it will be a bit painful but good distribution so this one apparently has uh, according to fragrantica uh, raspberry mandarin orange up top mill notes are jasmine orange blossom that's neroli base notes are cedar and sandalwood so this fragrance has that fruity floral vibe and it's very youthful fragrance as you can tell from the presentation these are built for younger generation younger crowds who are looking to wear something in summer and springtime autumn spring uh, something fruity floral and the perfume actually doesn't disappoint performance wise this fragrance just like the other one they are not moderate they are not beast mode they're somewhere in between you know i would say 7.5 out of 10 for performance but the opening of these two perfumes are the some of the best features alongside the bottle i really like the both the openings you can tell this one is a flanker to this or same family because alongside the opening of fruity raspberry and uh, that orange you can also get a little bit of the aquatic fresh vibe that you also get from this so basically same dna same dna sort of oh one other thing oh okay i didn't notice uh, this uh, bottle the men's one is a bit wider if you see side by side if i put them uh, this bit wider bigger bottle compared to the female one female one is a bit thinner okay or yeah a little bit less uh, you know I don't know how do you say that but basically the what i'm trying to say is these fragrances the bottle designs are same but this one is a bit narrow or thin compared to the men's one okay Ch men's one is a bit more chunky uh men's one is what 90 mil forgot uh man the writings are too small these are 90 mil i think yeah the women's one are 80 mil sorry my bad so as soon as you spray this it hits you with sweet opening you know the raspberry is a synthetic fruity vibe but it smells very pleasant it's for some reason the jasmine and the neroli i get more like a young pink rose uh, which feels like a floral and fruity dominant 50 50. so you really like this it's a more easy to love kind of a fragrance um, but 
it's not as deep like uh, I would wear this more of a casual occasion than uh, formal wear okay uh, even though this is for ladies men can use it if you like sweet fruity perfumes but this is more on the fruity fruity side a little bit of bubble gummy uh, the, if the word applies and the fragrance smells uh, a little bit light and airy okay it's not the most dense like uh, Miss Dior if you put uh, the, the bouquet ones or the some other Chanel number no. 5 they are really musky and heavy this one doesn't have that heavy feel okay so if you like aquatic sweet, lighter more airy this is a good fragrance choice for you <clears throat> sorry so as the fragrance develops some of its citruses as usual like disappear and what you remain with is that jasmine and I to my nose a little bit of that uh, instead of neroli I get pink roses okay like rose petals okay and the fragrance basically the dry down is further dry down there's the cedar and sandalwood I get more like a musky but not as much musk as some of the other ones so it's a very casual summer fruity young girls perfume in my humble opinion anybody can wear anything but if you're in college school or if you're gonna gift it to your valentine you know like if you're a young couple this is fragrance she's not really like like and love at the bottle definitely girls love presentation you see they make women's fragrances like really great bottles like a uh, uh, Karen Herrera that one the good girl or something like you'll see women's perfumes have really nice looking bottles you know like decadence some of the examples but this one right here also can be added to your collection it can stand like that great and you can also uh, lay it down like that right so I believe the juice color inside is pink rather than the bottle color and it's really lovely to look at raspberry color so overall this fragrance it's really pleasant there's nothing really to hate about it unless you really hate florals you might get a headache from it but it's not headache inducing for me at least when I wore it it didn't get any headache so safe fragrance okay uh, for most people they will like it but uh, if you are really into the game for many years and you're looking for complexity or into niche perfume this one will come off as a little bit childish uh, perhaps a little bit uh, too young for your liking and too tutti fruity and bubble gummy uh, if you do not like that kind of genre you can stay away from this one but give it a try give it a snip when you see it and do not pay absolute retail on this that's gonna be expensive hundred something dollars not worth for this bottle even okay so overall another thing this is a fingerprint magnet if you leave if you touch it like that it's gonna leave a nasty mark so you have to keep wiping so I say better if you care for your bottles keep it in the box it will stay safe from the dust and all that overall this fragrance I would actually give this like 8 out of 10 for a uh, few reasons okay I like this fragrance no issue performance is okay not crazy but that's not the reason why I'm giving it 8 I could give it easily 9 okay or even 10 uh, for a fragrance but the amount of juice in there this is what I do not like on women's perfume they do say EDP but this fragrance is more like EDT concentration and the thing is the 80 ml is a little bit not nice you know like 90 100 ml more like a bottle size proper bottle size so you're paying a little bit more for less juice that's the reason the value wise this one is a little bit less value but it makes up for the bottle if you can get this for 65 bucks in a uh, tester unit or a discounted site that would be great do not pay more than that okay so Karina Herrera 212 Heroes Forever Young, this one I'm giving 8 out of 10. Thank you very much for watching um, and uh, I'll move on to the last review then we'll upload this. Take care.